Continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah. Chapter 16. Chapter 16. Send ye the Lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. For it shall be that as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. Take counsel, execute judgment, make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday. Hide the outcasts, bewray not him that wandereth. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee, Moab, 
Be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler, for the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land. And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath, but his lies shall not be so. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab, every one shall howl. For the foundations of Kerhereseth shall ye mourn, surely they are stricken. For the fields of Heshbon languish, and the vine of Sibma, the lords of the heathen have broken down the principal plants thereof. They are come even unto Jazer, they wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out, they are gone over the sea. Therefore I will bewail with the weeping of Jazer the vine of Sibma. I will water thee with my tears, O Heshbon and Eliali, for the shouting for thy summer fruits and for thy harvest is fallen. And gladness is taken away, and joy out of the plentiful field. And in the vineyards there shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Wherefore my bowels shall sound like an harp for Moab, and mine inward parts for Kirherish. And it shall come to pass, when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray. But he shall not prevail. This is the word that the Lord hath spoken concerning Moab since that time. But now the Lord hath spoken, saying, Within three years, as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned with all that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble. Chapter 17 The Burden of Damascus Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. The cities of a rower are forsaken. They shall be for flocks which shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria. They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. And it shall be as when the harvest man gathereth the corn, and reapeth the ears with his arm. And it shall be as he that gathereth ears in the valley of Rephaim. Yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it, as the shaking of an olive tree, two or three berries in the top of the uppermost bough, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, saith the Lord God of Israel. At that day shall a man look to his Maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. And he shall not look to the altars, the work of his hands, neither shall respect that which his fingers have made, either the groves or the images. In that day shall his strong cities be as a forsaken bough, and an uppermost branch, which they left because of the children of Israel, and there shall be desolation. Because thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation, and hast not been mindful of the rock of thy strength, therefore shalt thou plant pleasant plants, and shalt set it with strange slips. In the day shalt thou make thy plant to grow, and in the morning shalt thou make thy seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and of desperate sorrow." Woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas, and to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at evening tide trouble and before the morning he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. Chapter 18 Woe to the land shadowing with wings, which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia! 
that sendeth ambassadors by the sea, even in vessels of bulrushes upon the waters, saying, Go, ye swift messengers, to a nation scattered and peeled, to a people terrible from their beginning hitherto, a nation meted out and trodden down, whose land the rivers have spoiled. All ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth, see ye when he lifteth up an ensign on the mountains, and when he bloweth a trumpet, hear ye. For so the Lord said unto me, I will take my rest, and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herbs, and like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. For afore the harvest, when the bud is perfect, and the sour grape is ripening in the flower, he shall both cut off the sprigs with pruning hooks, and take away and cut down the branches. They shall be left together unto the fowls of the mountains, and to the beasts of the earth. And the fowls shall summer upon them, and all the beasts of the earth shall winter upon them. In that time shall the present be brought unto the Lord of hosts of a people scattered and peeled, and from a people terrible from their beginning hitherto a nation meted out and trodden underfoot, whose land the rivers have spoiled, to the place of the name of the Lord of hosts, the Mount Zion. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim, pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
Praise the Lord. You are here for your miracle tonight. For your healing tonight. For the touch of heaven upon your life. I said praise the Lord. Let the Father's person, the Father's line, the Father's seat at the very back. Let me hear your amen. The children, boys and girls, our youths, our upcoming young adults, fathers and mothers, everyone all together. God tonight will put a smile on your face. Raise up that hand, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray the miracle we read about tonight will be transferred to every life. The joy, jubilation we hear of tonight will come to every life. Here, at a Kurudu Alpha location, everyone, everyone, Lagos State, all the states of Nigeria, all the countries of Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Canada, everywhere, Europe, in the Caribbean. Everywhere, Lord, I pray, put a smile on every face. And I pray in the Gulf, I pray in the Arab world, everywhere, I pray, Lord, tonight, dynamic miracle, spectacular miracle, that you turn every life around tonight in Jesus' name. Confirmation upon your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Tell the person by your side before you sit down, there will be a smile on your face. 
How do you say that? You say that and then your face is, you know, plastic. Put a smile on your face and tell them the Lord will put a smile on your face. It is done. I said it is done. God has blessed you. He'll bless you more. You can sit down. Tonight, I come to a story. An important story in the Acts of the Apostles. When you hear the Acts of the Apostles, actually, it's the Acts of Christ by the Holy Spirit through the Apostles. But because of not having a long, long sentence over the book, that's why it's just called briefly the Acts of the apostles the acts of christ what he began to do what he continued to do is the power of the holy ghost through the apostles and that holy ghost as we have sung by the guest minister is here tonight Amen. and christ is here tonight Amen. and the power will flow to you will get to you, Amen. you might discover that while the message is going on, your blind eyes are open. Amen. You may discover that while the message is going on, you're feeling the urge, you are being paralyzed and lame, and you're feeling the urge, get up. Even before the prayer, that power will operate in your life. Amen. And of course, when we come to the final, amen, to my right, to my left, to my right, in front of me, far at the back, and online, I'll be talking to you. I'll be touching your life. And you will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Acts. Chapter 3, look at verse 1. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And then in verse 2, it says, And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the temple, at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Look at verse 3. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an arms. And then in verse 4, and Peter fastening his eyes upon him with John said, Look on us as we look on the Lord tonight. Something great, unforgettable will happen in your life. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, and he gave heed unto them, expecting, expecting, expecting to receive something of them. In verse 6, then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Verse 7 And he took him by the right hand. He took him by the right hand. The man, you know, he had never walked. He was lame from his mother's womb. And when Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one that went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. But now he died for our sin. He was buried. On the third day, he rose again and is gone to heaven in the name of that Jesus. Rise up and walk. And the man was dazed, confused, 
I'm looking for money. I'm asking you to give me arms. And you are telling me, rise up and walk. I'd never done that. So Peter did not waste time. He took him by the right hand. And he lifted him up. And immediately, somebody shout immediately. Yeah. His feet and ankle bones received strength. Your lame legs, paralyzed hands, withered hands, and your backbone that is broken, paralysis from the neck to the feet, the strength of the Lord will come. A creative miracle will take place in your body, in your life today. He receives strength. And then in verse 8, we're told, and he leaping up, stood, and he walked, and he entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. You will praise God tonight. Yeah. You will rejoice tonight. Yeah. Miracle will meet you where you are there tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 9. In verse 9, and all the people saw him walking. I will see you walking. Yeah. I will see your blind eyes open. Yeah. I will see that cancer and that swelling. I will see it removed out of your body tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Now, how did that happen? Look at verse 16. In verse 16, and his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong. Faith, expectation, trust, confidence in Christ will make you strong tonight. Will make you saved tonight. Will make you delivered tonight. That whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Giving him this perfect soundness. Perfect soundness. In the presence of you all tonight, I come to talk to you on perfect soundness through the preeminent emancipator. The preeminent emancipator. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of all power, and is preeminent over your problem, over the attacks, over the affliction. Over every bad condition in your life, the preeminent emancipator will deliver you tonight. You will smile. I will smile. Perfect soundness through the preeminent emancipator. I've read the story to you. I'm not going to go over the story. So that you will know you are in the picture. You know, sometimes when a photograph is taken, I see Peter in the photograph. I see John in the photograph. I see the man that was born lame in the photograph. You are asking me, Pastor, am I in the photograph? Yes. Are you in the photograph? I'll show you where you are. As Peter and John in the photograph, as they manifested the power of God and the man also who had never walked, he stood up straight. He said, make way for me. I'm in the photograph. I make way for you tonight to in the photograph. <laughs> Three things we're looking at. Number one, the condition of lameness from the womb. The condition, that's the way he was born. The condition of lameness from the womb. Number two, our confidence in the Lord for his wonders. 
our confidence in the Lord for his wonders. Number three, the confirmation of liberation through his word. The confirmation, the confirmation of your own liberation, of your own emancipation, of your own salvation, of your own healing, of your own deliverance through the word. The word will come to you tonight. And the word that comes to you tonight will set you free. He will liberate you. He will break every chain, every shackle in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Number one, number one, number one, the condition of lameness from the womb. I read it to you already, but let me just look at, uh, you know, some verses there. Acts chapter 3 verse 2. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb. A certain man lame from his mother's womb. How does that resonate with you? How does that appear to you? What has been our condition from the womb? Lame, impotent, incapacitated, unable to do, unable to stand, unable to walk, unable to be upright, unable to straighten up from the womb. Let me show you how that applies to you and to everyone. We're looking at Psalm 58, verse 3. In Psalm 58, verse 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. The physical man, the natural man, born lame. And he couldn't stand from the womb. But that is how our spirit, our inner man, our inner personality, that's how we are from the womb. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray, they wobble, they cannot stand right morally. They wobble, they cannot stand right spiritually. They try to get up, they cannot be upright because the wicked, they are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, as soon as they are born, speaking lies. I'm sure you know that. That a child does not have to get to school and learn and be trained to tell lies that was from the womb. And it's an indication that everyone that is born into the world could not stand upright, speak straight, stand straight, behave well from the womb. I want you to look at Psalm 51. I'm reading from verse 4. Psalm 51 verse 4, against thee, the only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Look at verse 5. In verse 5, behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. David said, although I'm king now, David said, although I'm high up now, David said, although I'm rated as high in the most important country in the world at that time, he said, from the womb I'd been wobbling. I couldn't walk straight. I couldn't act straight. I couldn't do anything straight. I say, chapter 48, verse 8. I say, chapter 48, verse 8, Yea, thou heardest not. Yea, thou knewest not. Yea, from the time that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldest deal treacherously. 
and was called a transgressor from the womb. A transgressor from the womb. That's how we were. Like that man at the beautiful gate. Lame, impotent, paralyzed, incapacitated, not having any backbone to stand. And we couldn't stand. And any little sin, we went into transgression. That from the womb. And that man felt he will remain like that until he died. Actually, at this time now, he was already 40 years of age. You know what people say? They say, a fool at 40 is a fool forever. God says no. For you, I said, God says no. Yeah. A paralytic at 40, paralytic forever. God says no. Yeah. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Helpless and hopeless at 40, helpless and hopeless forever. God says no. Yeah. Now, whatever your condition, you're 20, you're 15, you're 17, you're 40, you're 45, you're 60, you're 70, you're 80, and you're even beyond that, that bad condition will not continue forever. Yeah. Today, tonight, is the time of total turning around. Yeah. Look at the person before you and say, tonight is my night of turning around. <laughs> tell them, tell them, show them. Tonight, tell them, tonight is my night, my very own night of turning around. And every bad thing that had been and followed you here, all those things will clear up tonight in Jesus' name. I'm coming to point number two now. Point number two, our confidence in the Lord for his wonders. Our confidence in the Lord for his wonders. Your night of wonder has come. That man that was at the gate, he saw Peter, he saw John, and he thought they will be like all the other people. Give me pennies there. Give me some saints there. Give me something that will help me because I'm hungry. And then they stood, and they stood there and said, Look on us. Christ had given them power. And Christ had said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He had said, whoever you lay your hands on, they will recover. And that whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do. And so they said, look on us. And then we are told in Acts chapter 3, reading from verse 6, then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. Oh, the man almost said, eh, go your way, please. Don't, don't stay. But before he had a chance to talk, Peter then said, but such as I have. If I told you tonight, as I came, God gave me something to transfer to you. That something from heaven, a gift from heaven, grace from heaven, power from heaven for you. Where are you? I'm smiling because I know you will smile. And so Peter said, such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, and he took him by the hand. Our counselors there. Our ushers there. Not only here, in every congregation. As we pronounce the word, the word of Christ. That brings the wonder of Christ. 
you know, uh, the person there is lame. Maybe he is coming for the first time. He has never heard what God has been doing for the people. And you are there like Peter did and stretched forth his right hand and lifted him up. As you ushers, counselors, as you do that, you find the strength is there already. The power is there already. You know, a person who had been blind and did not see anything before, he doesn't know where to look, but you the counselor, you the usher, you are the one to say the word has been proclaimed. And that final amen has been said. Now, you point them to the, look at that, look at that. Then you say, yes, I can see. They will see tonight. <laughs> Somebody had been deaf, dumb. They don't know any word. They don't know papa, mama. They don't know I. They don't know me. They don't know anybody, anything, any word. But as we pray the prayer, I will mention the name of Jesus. And you know, counselor, that the name of Jesus can never fail. You are the one to get near them and say, say what I say. And you say, Papa. And for the first time, they're hearing that word, Papa. God has healed them. Now, when, when you were born to this world, you didn't, you were not dumb, you were not deaf, but you didn't know Papa until Mama said, that's Papa. And then you said Papa. And then somebody else said, that is so and so. And then you said the same thing. When God heals people, they don't know what to say, but you will say Papa, they will say Papa tonight. You will say Mama, they will say Mama tonight. Now, 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 now. When the little child comes to this world and never heard any word, and you say, Papa, he'll say, that, that. And then the mother will shout for joy. My child has started speaking. But you know, counselor, if you say, Papa, and you say, that, that. And you say, oh, it's not like that. <laughs> you destroy their faith. But if you say, praise the Lord, he has started speaking. And then the right word will come out. And when you say one, you say, ah. Uh. You say one, you say, ah. Uh. You not say, ah, uh ah, -uh, no miracle. He has not got it. He has got it. I said tonight, he has got it. He started speaking, and then uh, whatever is the challenge there, it is you, the counselor, that will encourage their faith. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Look at verse 8. And he, leaping up, stood and walked. And entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Tonight, wonders in our midst. That wonder is very close to you by your side there. And when we pray and mention the name of Jesus, and you say amen, and I say amen, and the whole congregation say amen. If two of us shall agree as touching anything, Heavenly Father, He will do it. Yeah. Wonders tonight. Yeah. Number one, the wonders of salvation. The wonders of salvation tonight. Salvation is around, it's available. And that salvation is the transformation and the change of your life. Number two is the wonder of recreation. That everything that is deformed in your body, deformed in your life, there is a recreation tonight. That leg, like bow legs, that is so bent, you don't like the way it is. Recreation tonight. 
that leg that is shorter than the other and you are wondering look at me i have to either get a stick or get another kind of shoe for that leg recreation tonight in jesus name number three the wonder of healing the wonder of healing whatever may be the challenge in your life tonight the wonder of healing has come unto you the wonder the wonder of transformation transformation that the lord anything that is upside down in your life the lord will put it the right side up if something happened in your on your head that instead of walking like we are like everybody is walking you put your head down you put your feet up and you think that is the right thing because there's something wrong in the head tonight transformation in your life it will take you up gently it will put you the right side up head will be normal heart will be normal speech will be normal and then you will walk like a lady lady beautiful lady like a gentleman because there is the wonder of transformation tonight it, there's the wonder of restoration somebody had had the peace of god before you had the joy of salvation before everything was so right you were reading the bible enjoying the bible having fellowship with god until you began to look another direction now things are no longer the same you are not like you used to be and the peace of god is no more there the joy of the lord is no more there and you're crying if i could get back to the good old days tonight that wonder has come the wonder of restoration or maybe you add something a spirit binding you that you don't know where to look again did you hear the testimony of that uh, you know lady woman from Edo State warm on warm sun over everywhere she was scratch and you saw the way she was demonstrating until the hand the power of God touched her and all those things came out of her the power of the Lord will touch you tonight when God created you he didn't create you for Satan to torment your life he didn't create you for sickness to make you suffer and how did those things come because an enemy has done this but tonight I say tonight the wonder of deliverance in your life tonight the wonder of translation that the Lord will translate you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son actually tonight there's going to be the wonder of resurrection anything that is dead in your life or if you yourself you are dead and you cannot hear anything now at the mention of the name of Jesus the wonder of resurrection will come to you hey, look at our man look at our man here he leaping up stood and he watched and entered with them into the temple walking leaping and praising God look at verse 9 in verse 9 and the people saw him walking and praising God they saw the wonder of God upon his life we will see the wonder upon your life online stay there don't go anywhere because the wonder of the Lord is coming upon your life tonight you know we've been talking about what God has been doing he did it in the acts of the apostles now we are not maybe theological students here let me tell you something you'll check up maybe later at the end of Matthew 
there is amen. At the end of Mark chapter 16, there is amen final. At the end of Luke, there is amen final. At the end of John, there is amen. At the end of the Acts of the Apostles, there's no full stop with amen. It means that when you read the last chapter of the Acts of Apostles, they didn't seal it up and say, Amen, final. It continues. Another chapter of the Acts of the Apostles is going to be written tonight. Yeah. What's your name? What's you in the picture? Because it continues, it continues, it continues, and now it has come to your turn. As we went about all these uh, crusades, God I mean, doing marvelous things. There's uh, somebody in Uyo, that's South South, Nigeria here. A rich by name. Miraculously healed of terrible, terrible illness that caused her to be vomiting blood and even pores coming out of her mouth. Uh, let her tell the story to you by herself. And as you listen to that wonder, greater wonders will happen in your life. My name is Aret Lucia. I had four problems in my life. But I thank God for the GCK at Taraba uh, State. I had stroke. I had uh, diabetes. I went to the hospital and uh, to remove my teeth. And during the operation, the instrument gave me some wound in the mouth. Then, since then, I've been having odor from my mouth, uh, scooper coming from my mouth, and blood coming from my nose. I used to use handkerchief to cover myself. Anybody sitting beside me will hear the order. So I used to run away from people. By the grace of God, during the GCK at Taraba State, the Lord healed me through the prayer of Pastor W.F. Kumi. As he prayed and said that everybody should put their hands where they are having problems, and I put my hand there, and he mentioned my problem particularly, that the, uh, the issue of blood. So I put my hand in my mouth, and the whole thing went away. Diabetes gone. Uh, stroke gone and uh, uh, the blood issue gone. I thank God for this uh, global crusade. I thank God for Pastor W.F. Kumi. Praise the Lord! The wonder happened to her. Who is the next on the line? Amen. The Lord confirm it in Jesus' name. Here, here. The wonders have not stopped. You've seen the first one. You're going to see the second one. And then I will see the third one in your life there. <laughs> Number two, we have this woman named Atim, also from Uyo. And she was healed of 40 years problem. Like the man we are reading about. The man had had the problem for 40 years. She too. She had the problem 40 years. Don't let me, um, you know, talk too long. Let her tell you her own story. For over 40 years, I've been in severe, serious pain because of pie and ulcer. I lost my husband. Nobody to care for me. Whenever I want to stew, I find it difficult. The pains will be very serious. That time, my anus will be paining me. When I stew, it, come, it comes out with blood. And nobody to tell me sorry when that pains come like that. I've been to many hospitals. But Doctor, when they examined me, they say, my own case, I can manage it. I heard of Global Crusade from Baba Kumuji. 
and I say, God, you, you must not pass me this time. God, you must do something. And after the ministration of Abakumuji, it just be a seed. When the man say we should raise up our one hand up and lay the other one on where the thing is paining us, I, 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 I raise my hand up and I use this hand to do like this. Because the pain is always from the tears down all over my stomach. My stomach will be hurting me, making all kinds of noise. But after the last amen, just be as if something fell from out of me, out of me, I become very light. All those things, doctors say I should not eat. I begin to eat them. Those toilets that have been difficult for me, now I can go eat freely without any pains, no more blood. I thank God for Baba Kumuni, how God has been using him in this global crusade. I want to tell everybody that there is power in this global crusade. Praise the Lord! 40 years problem rolled away. Your time has come. I want you to get to your time of wonder quick, quick, quick today. So, I will talk other things another time. Next global crusade, will you come? Okay, so... I'm going to point number three now. Point number three, the confirmation. Somebody shout, confirmation. The confirmation of liberation through the word. Through the word. Through what? The word. Look at Peter and John standing there. They didn't have any other scene. They didn't or pour palm oil on them, olive oil on them. They didn't pour Jordan water on them, Jerusalem water on them. The word. Look at verse 6 again. As Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto thee. It's the word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He sent his word and he saved them. He sent his word and he healed them. He sent his word and delivered them. Look at Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Jeremiah 1 verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me. Then said the Lord unto me. The Lord is saying something to you now. Let me hear you. What did he tell Jeremiah? And what is he telling you? Thou as well seen. Everything you have seen tonight, everything you have heard tonight, of what God is able to do, and you have accepted, and you have received, and you know that the word of God will not fail, you have seen well. For I will hasten my word to perform it. Tonight, the Lord will hasten his word, the word of salvation, you'll be saved tonight. The word of forgiveness, you'll be forgiven tonight. The word of transformation, recreation, you'll be recreated and transformed tonight in Jesus' name. And the word of healing, healing has come to you. The word of deliverance, Deliverance has come to you. 
and the word of the mighty, unforgettable miracle, it, it has come to you tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is the time for the word to be fulfilled and performed in your life. All it takes is for you to indicate and say, Lord, I am here. I need salvation. I need restoration. I need forgiveness. I need recreation. The Lord will do it. You want forgiveness tonight? Wherever you are, raise up your hand there. Your time of forgiveness, of freedom, of salvation, of restoration has now come. Raise up that hand. The peace of God will settle in your heart as we pray now. The joy of salvation will take hold of you as we're praying now. Raise up the hand. If you're raising up your hand for the forgiveness, for the salvation, for the peace of mind, for the joy of believing, you stand up wherever you are. Here, to my right, to my left, at the back, at the center, in front. You want the salvation of the Lord, the forgiveness right now, the recreation of the Lord. Just raise up your hand and stand up. Over the radio, the same thing. On the television, the same thing. In every locality, every country, every community, the same thing. Anywhere you are and you are connected and you want this pardon, this conversion, this change of life, this change of heart, this salvation, this transformation, raise up their hand and stand up. As you are standing up, tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you for the wonder of salvation. And I know it's immediate, it's right now, as I trust you, as I believe in you, as I put my faith, my confidence in you, I know my sins are forgiven now. Thank him. Thank him. Thank you, Lord. I have salvation. I have forgiveness. I have the joy of salvation. I have the peace of God in my heart. I know you are recreating me now. Thank you, Lord. I'm praying for you now. Keep on standing and keep that hand up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we well, thank you for what you have done. You have said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray that word will be fulfilled in their hearts right now. Save them. Forgive them. Change their lives. Do a work of restoration and recreation and transformation in every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said, it is done. The wonder of salvation. I call on our moderating pastor tonight to lead us this time of um, counseling. Counselors, thank you. God bless you. Let's do a good job and interact with those who have just given their lives to the Lord. And we do that briefly. I'll come back because tonight is the night of the wonder of your miracle. Counselor, let's move around. Get their details. As you have experienced wonders of salvation, we welcome you into God's own kingdom. You have started the journey right today. And I know that the grace of God will be sufficient for you as you travel along with the Savior. You will continue with him. 
Counselor, let's do quick. Get their details, their names, the address, the phone number. Make sure that they are legible. We can, you can read them clearly. And please, those that have decided for the Lord who have experienced wonders of salvation, wonders of recreation, give correct details. You don't tell like animals. You don't do anything that God will not be happy with. You do things in the right way and you will see God keeping you till you see him face to face. Let's quickly do that, counselors. We appreciate what you have been doing. Let's get their details. It's a new birth experience. It's a wonderful experience. That you have come to the Lord. Heavens are rejoicing. Angels are rejoicing over you. And the convener of GCK, our Father in the Lord, has welcomed you greatly into, his, into the kingdom of God. What a great decision you have taken. Counselor, let's quickly do that. Let's make sure that we capture everybody. Those that have given their life to Christ, capture everyone. At the far back, let all our counselors do a good job, which you have been doing. Wonders of salvation is what you have experienced tonight. And as our counselors are reaching out to those who have decided for the Lord, this is the time. The rest of us, we should be praying to experience wonders of healing, wonders of God's divine touch in our lives today. You will not live here as you can. God is going to touch you in a special way. Keep on praying. Talking to God that, Lord, I'm here for you tonight. And I will not go back home the same. Counselors, let's take their details. Supervisors, by my left hand side, if you are done, can I see your hand up? Okay. 
my right hand side. Please let's do that quickly. We are waiting for the man of God who is going to pray for us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it is time for your miracle. You rise up. It's time for you to receive the touch of God. It's time for you to be healed. It's time for you to be delivered. And I'll invite the man of God, convener GCK, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, who will declare extra for us tonight. Praise the Lord. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My turn. My Wonders. Wonders. Wonder of healing. Yeah. Who is the person to receive that? Yeah. And the wonder of miracle. Yeah. Wonder of deliverance. Yeah. You are the next online. Yeah. Anywhere you are, over here at the Alpha location, radio, you are listening, television, you are watching, online, anywhere. You are with a congregation. Get ready now. Tonight is going to be a night of multiple wonders. Raise up one hand. Let the other hand where you have the challenge, the problem, the sickness. And as we pray, you see how that happened there? Peter said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Then he stretched forth the right hand, lifted him up. And the man received strength. In his ankles. And 40 year problem, paralysis, was taken away instantaneously. Amen. It's coming your way. Amen. Raise up that hand, lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above every name, the name that has power. The name that has authority on earth and in heaven. Lord, welcome on behalf of everyone. And I speak your word of power and authority. And I say, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever the pain is, whatever the sickness is called, the hands of the Lord touch you right now. Yeah. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Long standing problem, long standing mountain, long standing affliction. In the name of the Lord, by the power of the Lord, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, be delivered in Jesus' name. <laughs> to my right, to my left, in my front, online, everywhere. Whatever miracle you need, receive now in Jesus' name. Your blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Swelling any part of the body, goiter, hunchback, elephant chances, and ear, fibroid. Be taken away in Jesus' name. Amen. Cancer, tuberculosis, ulcer, kidney problem, liver problem. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 
insanity, madness, affliction of Satan be removed in Jesus' name. That spirit of suicide come out in Jesus' name. I'll be healed in Jesus' name. That is your blood dry up in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. Any problem in your body, anything walking about there, I command you come out in Jesus' name. And any part of your body that is dead, not functioning, I pray that life will come there right now. Lord, I pray for everyone. Nobody, no one missing their wonder, their miracle, their healing, their deliverance at this time. God of wonders, perform it in every life. Do it in every life. Put a smile on every face. Testimony in every mouth. Joy of heaven's visitation on every life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. You have got it. You have got it. You have got it. Check up yourself. You'll be the next one to give testimony. 